third video literally in the last hour we have a review again for you this is graves of the abyss this is pei blackened death thrash roll <laughs> i'll get to that in a minute so ray black here dan hodgins or dan hodgson and ryan p gallant from the band of death valley driver have kind of formed their own little side sort of side project of sorts this is called Graves of the Abyss. They have a four-song EP out called Nocturnal Erosion. Um, yes, they are a black man. They are a black metal band, death metal band, thrash band, and rock and roll band. Now that seems weird, but it's more it's more of the rolling, rolling, grooving kind of feel, as opposed to you know your ACDC four four you know, get up and dance your ass off at a pub kind of thing. Now, they themselves call them, you know, they basically uh, dub themselves death metal, but they draw upon influences like Watain, Dark Throne, Burzum, and Celtic Frost. Now, Dark Throne, drum-wise, has got that, you know, that sort of, that very simple 4-4 four, four pounding away sort of rock and roll style drumming. Now, the thing with this is, is I've only mentioned three guys. Well, that's correct, because Dan's on vocals, Ryan's on drums, and Ray is on guitars, and he played, and he, he recorded all the guitars and all the bass on this. So going back to the influences here, Watain, Dark Throne, Burzum, ugh. No offense, I'm, I, and I should really sort of preface this right off the bat by saying that I'm not a big black metal fan. Burzum being the one band that I just could I could care less about, but that's not here that's here nor there. But Celtic Frost is here and so is Dark Throne. And I guess out of all out of these bands here, Dark Throne and Celtic Frost are the bands I would probably listen to the most. The four songs on this EP, as I said, entitled Nocturnal Erosion, are called Iron Leather, Nuclear Feast, Rat Skins the Crow, and Hordes of the Stag. So, getting into this, listening to this record, I, I must have listened to it about eight times over the last few days so that I could kind of get my head around it. And what I have for you is this. Iron Leather has really that old school uh, Celtic Frost feel to it. Like, I mean, old school, like vintage Celtic Frost. Uh, type. Basically, that's the kind of riffing I get. Uh, and, of course... You really, I can really hear the Celtic Frost on this the most. Um, riff wise, drum wise, and even Dan throws in a ooh, but it's not a ooh, it's a ooh, and he kind of he holds it so that he's paying tribute to the master, yet making it his own because that's essentially what you want to do. Because if you don't make it your own, what the fuck's the point? You might as well just be a Celtic Frost cover band. Dan's vocals on this record go from the real low end guttural type of growl uh, type of growls to the higher end black metal style vocal without that piercingly high screech that I absolutely find probably the most horrific vocal ever. It's it's like a really bad fry uh, type of vocal approach. It's that really I just stop it's just annoying but he does not do that he has enough of he has enough of the high but it's 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 almost like a perfect low and high so it's like right in the middle which i can tolerate it's kind of nice the death the thrash and the black metal feels on this song are very well effective and well executed. But they're really, they're like this on the whole record, to be honest. So the whole four song EP, I should say. Towards the end of the track, they get into that rock and roll feel, which has got that, it's really nice. It, it, it stands out from just all, uh, you know, a constant barrage of black death thrash, blah, blah, blah. Nocturnal Feast comes at you with a kick to the face of the of straight up black metal. And then 20 sec, 26 seconds in, Boom, nice big second roundhouse kick to the head. And that's where you get that death thrash verse. 
and then the chorus hits you and it comes back to the main riff which is fine because that's what I really really like and that's where these that's where all of these influences are coming from Watain and the Dark Throne and uh, the Birds and Celtic Frost but with their de- with their flavor of Death Thrash what I'm hearing is Sodom like that old school Sodom, like from the first few records, that's what I'm hearing. Like Persecution Mania, uh, there's a bit of that in there. Um, and then kind of as you get into it, the most, probably the one Sodom record I think I would equate um, this four song EP just in the Black and Thrash or the Death Thrash with those sections is Tapping the Vein. That's what I would go with. Um, so and and that's for all you know the the thrashier side of things. That's what I'm hearing is Sodom, big time. Uh, Rat skins the crow starts off very melancholic, ethereal, epic sadness, and you're just like, oh man, I'm kind of bummed. Boom, one twenty mark hit, one twenty mark hits, all fucking hell breaks loose. The growl, the shrieking black metal, completely takes over. Fuck your feelings. It's time to sacrifice some goddamn versions. Burn church and churches. Hail Satan! It's basically what I'm getting with this. And there's nothing wrong with that because a big part of what the, you know the guys listen to is a lot of these bands. So it, it hits you with that, that fucking black metal. It just rages and absolutely takes you on a ride and kicks you right directly in the fucking head. I love when Ray, go, Ray comes up with nice melodic pieces. The guy knows how to play guitar. He's been playing for years, and he's not and he's not he's not stupid. With these nice little opening melancholy bits, and then they just you know you know that whole Death Valley Driver Ray, <laughs> pun fully fucking intended here, uh, right into this just you know, just kicked, just total super kick right to the fucking head, right? It's awesome. And that's the one part I miss about bands that do that is they come up with these intro bits where are just beautifully written pieces and then whack, fucking you're, you're like, why am I on the floor? How did I get here? Why am I here? Kind of thing. Moving on to Hordes of Stag starts off with some pummeling drums you get a perfectly timed scream, as usual, and then takes you on a crushing ride of black and death metal to hell and back. That's pretty much the... that, And that's not... I mean, that's the best way that I can describe Hordes of the Stag. It's it's your... It's, it's almost a typical black and death metal track that you could have on almost any other record that's of that same vein. Takes you to hell and back. And it's... It's a good song. It's not that it's a bad song. It's a good song. It's just how can you honestly? If if it was me, I would have put Ratskins. The, I would have put Ratskin the Crow, or Skins the Crow at the end. But that's just me because you know hell set hell Satan and burning churches and shit. Why not? <laughs> Guys are probably sitting there going, "What the fuck is he going on about?" So as I said, I must have listened to this thing about eight times uh, before I started to review this over the last few days. Um... I've been listening to it kind of almost nonstop. Uh, you can get it anywhere on Spotify, um, all of the majors. You can get it on YouTube. Um, it's pretty well everywhere. All of the majors, any of the streaming sites, if you want to get it, I, su- I suggest you get a hold of it. I think it's a fantastic re- uh, EP. It was released on September 4th. And if you require that angry sort of black, and me- black metal, death metal, th- rock and roll, thrash metal, it's all here. It's all here. Everything you know, want and need is right in that one record. EP. And the funny thing is, is they've got six more songs almost ready to go in the fucking bag. It's it's like all my buddies are writing records and it takes my own band seven years to do one. That's besides the fucking point. My verdict for this bad boy, four out of five. I'm not the biggest black metal fan. The guys know it. But they Dan's been... Dan's been on me to review this, and you know what? Fuck yeah, I'm going to review the goddamn thing. I love reviewing records because it gives me that sense of, you know, I'm actually doing something decent. And some of the guys are like, yes, great. Now you got to share the fucking thing, boys. (laughs) Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Share it, like it, subscribe, all that exciting stuff. Um, And as I said at the, you know, at 
in my earlier videos today, because this is uh, video three, there's going to be another one later. Share it. Love it. Sub. But you may have to wait to the weekends to get the videos. That's the only thing. My apologies. Life gets in the way. Cheers.